let me tell you a story. If I tell you anything about my life, I don't believe I am telling you to only give you random information about my life. I believe I am telling you so that you can learn something from it, like a testimony slash, excuse me, teaching moment. Something happened to me. I think it was, I don't know, 2010, 2011, 2012, maybe not that late maybe 2000 maybe maybe it was i forget i don't know anyways i think around that time i was lukewarm and you may ask me what do you mean by lukewarm in my own words i believe lukewarm is you are more focused on doing wrong than trying to obey God, basically. Basically, that is what I believe lukewarm is. Something happened to me and I was very angry. And I kind of got into an I don't care attitude, which is very dangerous. Well, to a certain point, I got into that type of attitude. And I wanted to hurt some people, not in a physical way, but hurt people, like maybe emotionally, or yeah, that, yes, I believe that. I was hurt, so I believe I wanted to hurt others. I guess some hurt people hurt people. Okay. So almost every day, I forget for how long, maybe, I don't know. So for almost every day, I believe I contemplated on doing bad things. Like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know, I don't care, like, stuff like that. And I believe I had motivation to do what is wrong. One day, I woke up, and I believe perhaps from my neck down, I believe much of that area was very sore. And around that time, I was exercising. And I believe I thought, I don't think I exercised that hard. So why am I sore like this? And as the days passed, I believe it became worse. And I kind of lost my appetite. So I believe I went to... I guess urgent care hospital 
like to the urgent care clinic whatever and I believe the doctor thought that I had food poisoning and I believe I was prescribed some pills maybe like six or seven pills but the thing about it I think each time I took one of those pills I think it became worse whatever I had I believe how can I say I believe the pain increased a little for a time I think I forget how everything was and I believe I took the last pill but I still felt bad and I could not eat nearly as much as I normally would like my appetite was I believe my appetite was very low And maybe two weeks after that, I believe it became worse. And I went to a hospital and I believe they took a, a CAT scan on me or whatever it is called. I had to drink some yellow dye or whatever it's called. That stuff is so nasty. And and maybe a day later or maybe on that night, I forget, I found out that I had appendicitis. I believe I was told that my appendix ruptured and I believe one of the nurses or I forget who maybe the doctor I think I was told more than one time that I could have died <laughs> now Think about this. Is that a coincidence? Before that happened, I believe my mind was focused to do evil. I believe my heart was set on to hurt some people emotionally or in or do other things as well. So let's say, no, I believe my heart back then was to do what is wrong. And now I did not know about God as much as I do now, but I believe I knew some things. And I knew what I had planned was evil. I believe I knew it was wrong, but I did not care. And I was surely going to do it or come close to it. Let's say I had it planned to do it. So a time after, I ended up in, in the hospital. And I believe I stayed there for a week. And while I was, man, I was in so much pain. I believe, I believe I was in so much pain. And what can you do while you are lying on your back for almost a week or about a week? Think, right? So I had so much time. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I had so much time to think about 
the error of my ways. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I had so much time to think about the error of my ways. I tell you what, I believe it is so true. And listen, I thank God that that happened to me because if if I had my way, I would have done evil things if I was not stopped. And I truly believe we reap what we sow. Truly believe it. Now, if you think it is a coincidence that I ended up in the hospital, I don't know what you are thinking about. I believe some bad things happen to us because of what we have done or what we may be planning to do. I truly believe that. I truly believe that. And after I got well, I tried to do what is right, but you know, I fell into sin again. But that stuff there, I believe it is one of the reasons why I don't want to play around in sin because why? I don't think sin pays. Yes, I may get pleasure by messing with this woman and that woman. Yes, I might can get some money by doing some wrong things. Yeah, I believe I can. But I believe when you mess with sin, payment is going to be due. And I tell you what, I don't want to go through that hospital stuff no more. I tell you, I was in pain. Um, When they would do a certain thing, I think they had to flush the JB, JP, whatever tube thing they had on my side, whatever that thing is called. And I think each time when they would have to flush that area I think they had to put like uh, morphine in it as well. I tell you when, when whenever they did whatever they did there so painful some stuff happened to me in that hospital man sin does not pay a person may believe, Kevin, you know, it is easy for you to be the way you are. It is easy for you to serve God and stuff like that. Do you know what I've been through? <laughs> Do you know what I've been through? Listen now. If I know stepping on a nail as hard as I can is going to hurt, why would I continue to do that? Why should I feel unnecessary pain? If I, if I see a nail, let me not step on it. Let me move around on the other side. If I know doing wrong, which I believe if you do wrong, something's going to happen to you if you purposely well i believe we are going to reap what we sow so if it's true that we are going to pay for the wrong that we do why should i purposely do what is wrong i'm not saying that you know we are going to do everything right all day, every day. What I am saying, like purposely 
all day, every day, do what is wrong. I don't care about God's rules and stuff like that. Why should I be in that mind frame if I know, which I believe, I will reap what I sow? I'm telling you, man. If you haven't, I believe it is time to come to Jesus Christ right now. If you are trying to rebel against Jesus Christ, maybe your mom died. Maybe your mom or dad did some wrong things to you in the past and you may blame God for what happened to you. Listen now. It doesn't pay to rebel against God. Even if you don't like God, even if you think God is a tyrant, even if you think God is a mean God or whatever else, it is best to do what he wants. If there is a king over me, whether I like him or not, if he makes a rule like, hey, if you don't do what I tell you to, I'm going to torture you. I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. Hey, let me do what that king says. Unless it is to go against God or something like that. But let me obey that king, right? Like, why go through unnecessary pain? So even if you don't like God, how is it benefiting you? By rebelling against God, well, Kevin, I don't care. Well, if you don't obey God, aren't you going to hell after death? So you don't care about being tormented? You don't care about the worms, which I believe in the fire and the... Uh, I believe hell is worse than this earth. So how can you say you don't care? Whether I like God or not, he has power, I believe, to send me to heaven or hell. So that alone, hey, let me try to do what is right, right? Let me stop here. God bless you.